Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. And we are back hmm? at Walking's Promenade. Oh, and pause the game. And I just want to sell a few items. To get space again in my adventure. I'm still looking for a magical bag or something. I didn't find something like that yet. Uh, something where I can, or something where I can put my potions in. I already have uh, a container for scrolls and for gems. So, in we go. Stuff I wait your word. Drive all Bartman at your service. So, yeah, magic missile. Hmm. It's not much, but we sell it. <coughs> what do we have here? We have lots of arrows plus one now. Two thousand gold coins? Hmm, not totally bad. I don't think we need that. Uh, but you still have a few gems, if I'm not totally wrong. Oh, but that's not really much. Okay. Oh, 4,100. We need one, uh, 900 more gold coins, then we can buy our license. And then we can cast spells again. Yay! So I guess the exit was here. It shall be. Did I? Yes, everything's fine. Here, 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 here. No thanks. I'm not listening. What? What? You should go to that spot if you can. Oh well. Where was the exit? Here. Hey, use the exit. Can I go now? To Uma Hills? No. That's weird. Oh, maybe I have to go to the city gates. Hmm, okay. Maybe. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Again? Who are you? A mage. A thug? And Renfeld. Fine. Oh boys, intruders are upon us. Kill them all, for you well know that we must not leave a uh, witness. So the mage is dead already. Oh wait, you cast too? No. Fear is for those of no confidence. Who are you? I, I won't let my friends be hurt. That's the spirit. For the fallen! I can break an arm or a leg for a couple. Of um. Help! Help me, please! Who are you? What has happened? Why? My name is Renfeld. Ah! Oh, I have been poisoned. I beg you, take me to my friends. They have a building not far away from here. Please, I beg you. Uh, here I can attempt to heal you with magic. It is no use, I'm afraid. I've already attempted to neutralize the poison inside me. I do not know what has been done to me. Please, I must go to my friends. Where is this building then? It is a large building. A large orange building in the southwest of the docks district. There will be a man guarding the door. His name is Rylock. Please take me to him. Very well, very well, I will take you there. Uh, I wanted to go somewhere else though, but it's fine. I bring you to the docks district to a large orange building in the southwest. Thank you. I, I do not have long to live. You must take me there quickly. Oh, take me to Rylock. 
Poisoned and dying, the tragedy of it sings in my skull. We must hurry and deliver this man to safe harbor, hey, would you blow me? I know. Consider it done. So, oh, do I have him now in the inventory or what? Shahira has him. Well, give him to me. I'm carrying the quest items and all <laughs> wounded people. Is he heavy? Oh yeah, 50 pounds. 50 pounds? That's 25 kilograms, that's nothing. Give me all your stuff. Oh, more spells. How awesome is that? A dagger plus one and another dagger plus one. Wait, I think uh, all that goes to Jahira if I'm not totally wrong here. So we have lots of strength potions too. That's very nice. Yep. What's that? Potion of genius. Potion of defense. Sets so armor class to zero. It's not too bad. Yeah, well. Potion of speed or oil of speed. Somebody already had those. Jahira. I really need a bag for my potions. No, that's the potion of inside, right? Right. And more spells for the mage. <laughs> yes, we go down. We try to learn all that shit. I guess oh I I guess I spent money for a haste spell. For Airy. Ah, oh, no, we can sell it again. Fine. We return to the docks. The docks. Here. Large orange building in where? The southwest? Southwest. That would be here. Are you orange? Yes, you are orange. Is that a door? That's I will a door. do my best. Run. <sighs> no, I'm not hearing. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. La 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 la. Oh, are you that guy, Rylock? Rylock! You never guess who I have in my inventory. I uh, will just let the party, you know, form up here. You never know, maybe he turned hostile and I don't want to duke it all out with him all by myself. So, now. What can it be now? Yes, is there some. Ranfeld, by Timora. Thank you for bringing him to us. We were beginning to worry. He was. He has been poisoned somehow, but he said magic was not able to cure it. He seemed desperate to find you. Poisoned? By the gods. Thank you. I must bring him inside immediately. Here is some coin for your trouble. I thank you again, friend. Ooh, we got 14,500 XP out of that. Do you want to go in and check? Now we have another quest. <sighs> Will we leave again? If we can. Your voice is ambrosia. You there, unwashed one. I would have a word with you, not Xa again. Xa? It's me, hey, which blow me. Don't you recognize me? I would rather not. I don't like him. Yes, what is it? I saw you dealing with those harpers, but it's obvious that you are not a harper yourself. You would be willing then to render me a service regarding them? What harpers? What are you talking about? The harpers you delivered the poisoned man to. Or were you too idiotic to know uh, they were harpers? I require you 
your inadequate services for a job. I have no interest in doing anything for you, Xar. Bah! To deal with gutless whining whelps is excruci excruciating. When you gather enough courage to take up my ever, I shall be here. I guess not. I don't want to have anything to do with you. And you know the Harpers are really nosy, bothersome bunch, but they're still good people. So I probably not cross them. I mean, I want nothing to do with them except from Jahira. She's cool. Um, but they're still trying to make the world a better place, and I give them credit for that. So, I wanted to go to the city gates. City gates? Please? Yes. I'm not talking to you. Who are you? Flydian. What you want? Oh, hello. Can I help you? Actually, hmm, perhaps you can help me. Help you? Who are you? What do you mean? I'm a messenger sent by the high merchant of trade me to find someone to help our town. You look like adventurers. You might be just the sort of help we need. Who is the High Merchant? He is Lord Logan Copwrith, Mayor and High Merchant of Trade Meat. He is willing to offer a substantial reward for anyone who can help Trade Meat out of its difficulties. What's it worth? I need to save up enough coin to rescue a friend being. I'm. I'm. Why should I tell everybody that? What kind of difficulties are you referring to? The town is under attack by forest animals. The high merchant thinks druids may be responsible, but we haven't the manpower to find them and stop them. Why would druids be attacking trade meat? I've never heard of such a thing. Nobody knows why they are attacked. We've done nothing to deserve this. We're not even positive the druids are responsible. They've never done anything like this before. Druids would not attack a town without cause. It would be a very extreme reaction here, which blow me. It's definitely something we should investigate. The townsfolk are growing angry, however, and the Lord Law Logan wishes to resolve this before anything unfortunate occurs. Who is this, um, Lord Logan you speak of? He is Lord Logan Cop Copperith, mayor and high merchant of trade meat. He's willing to offer. A yeah, we already had that. Where is this town? Here, I can show you on your map. Do you think you might be able to help us? I think I can. I've been known to deal with such these things in the past. Excellent. I'll send word to Lord Logan to expect you. Thank you for your assistance. It cannot be. I would sooner tear out my eyes than strike down innocent animals. Well, perhaps only one eye. But do not think me any less incensed. <laughs> yeah, well, we shall see. If we attack the animals, of course we defend ourselves. That should be clear, right? Is that a door? Is that a moon? No, that's no moon. The cooked, crooked crane. Nah, yeah, yeah. I want to get out of here. Can I get out of here, soldier? Declare yourself. What's your business in Ethical? Well, I'm leaving. Oh no, he's talking. Not talking to me. <laughs> he's talking to him. Benton. I'm a simple merchant. I deal in spices and silks. Spices? Is that a fact? Stand and deliver whilst I search you. No, really. There's no cause for that. I think there is. Here then. Is this some of your spices? Why, yes, yes, they are. So if you were to think them suspect, would a few gold and a simple would a few gold and a sample turn your eye? A few gold, you say? Hmm, I don't know. I think you will find my spice is well worth it. It is especially difficult to acquire lots lotus petals of such a dark hue, almost black. Lotus, you have a deal. On your way then. Thank you very much, good sir. Ex fucking excuse me? Did you just let that guy smuggle black lotus into town? I guess I have to kill you for that. Declare yourself! Hail traveler, be advised that you are at the edge of the limits of Athcatlas Guard. Within the city you abide by laws that protect you and that do not extend outside. What should I be wary of if traveling outside the city? There are many dangers, though if you are alert you should be quite safe. Wild beasts are always a concern. Mm -hmm. 
There may also be the occasional raiding party of bandits or a wayward troop of scum from the SWAT Sicilian Empire. There is a major skirmish happening with them, but it is far to the south and will not reach us. If there's anything, is there anything else you wish? I must return to my post. Yeah, to accept more bribes, fucker. Might I ask what you're doing with the Black Lotus? I couldn't help but over here. Mind your own business, fool. Move along. Hmm. Ah, this will probably have consequences, my friend. I'm not threatening you. I'm just saying. So, can I leave now? I want to go to Uma Hills. There's trade meat. There's the watchers keep. I don't want to go there yet. I think this may, um, may be a high level area. Not really sure. It's been very long since I played that. Uma Hills, here I come. Oh. What now? Who the hell are you? Nelek. Cruise the Herder. Margi. Are we in Uma Hills or not? We are. Very well. Oi, Mayor, when is this crisis going to be solved, eh? Aye, me and mine need to get back to herding, we do, for the wolves have gobbled me flock entire. Um, calm down, everyone, please. I assure you that everything that can be done is being done. And what is that? Aye, you just hired a group of those adventurers, did you? Where in the abyss are they? Well, they haven't come back yet, come back yet, no? Oh, we're doomed! Doomed! We must flee the village! We must flee before, me before more people go missing! Now, now, people, come. This is no time to panic. Please, listen to my husband. <coughs> yes, well, we are looking for another group of adventurers here to handle the situation. To kill them ogres and evil kin, you mean? Yes, ever since that band of monsters moved into the area, we've had nothing but trouble. They're eating people, that's what. You're both daft. It's the wolves that have been wandering the hills, sure enough. Hungry they is. It's not wolves, you fool. It's Uma herself. Return to haunt us and steal our children. Uma? Don't be telling that folktale now. Can't you see that's the ogre's plan as the truth? People, please. We must first find out what happened to our ranger Marella and then track down the source of these murderers. More adventures will come soon. Well, they can't come soon enough. You best be doing something, Mayor, or we needn't be fleeing the city for our safety. I'm trying to do something, just everyone remain calm. Panic will not help. I, I'm going to return to my home now. Everyone go home. Please. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? I was just, you know... Not like... Just passing through. Hey, is that a rabbit? Oh, it's a rabbit. Hi. I, I have nothing eh? you wish. What is it you want, stranger? Just what is going on in this village anyway? I'll tell you what's going on, me lord. The wolves that have been in these hills in the hills these past years have coming are coming at us, they are. For weeks now they've been preying on us, sneaking into the village at night and tearing people apart. Then their bodies disappear the next night. Yeah, well, how would wolves make the bodies disappear? I mean okay they eat the flesh but the bones remain. This is a gruesome sight, to be sure. I've seen them too. Them wolves, wolves look at me from afar with smart in their eyes. It's the truth. The rest of the village is full of fools. Them ogres, I see them, and they ain't so bad. And the rumor stuff's nothing but a load of nonsense. Hmm. Has nothing been done to hunt these wolves? Bloody Mayor Hilda hired a halfling runt and the her troop to find out what's been happening. They haven't come back. Wolves ripped him apart, is my guess. Why would wolves come back to take away the bodies a day later? Don't rightly know. Ain't nothing natural, that's for sure. They just seem to up and vanish, as far as I can tell. Um, what do you know about the ogres? They used to belong to that big rebel army down in the south of Am, deserters likely. Seeing them on my patrols don't look like they're up to anything. What, peaceful ogres? Never heard of that before. Led by a big ogre fellow, Mardulf, I think, wants to be left alone. Fact that he talk first rather than kill you makes him not the worst sword in my book. Oh yeah, that's that's new. That's a new one. An ogre that talks first, uh, asks questions first and then slashes. 
That's strange. Um, what is this about Umar? Just a lot of bull is all. You want to know about Umar? Go talk to Vincenzo at the inn. He laughs at her go out of his arse he does. <laughs> okay, goodbye then. On your way then, stranger. We don't need any more trouble here, that's for certain. Yeah, well, actually I'm just looking for this Valuga guy here. He's supposed to be here somewhere, but this map is not explored yet. So I guess I have to do that myself. Everything I have to do myself here. No, I'm, I'm not complaining. It's cool. It's fun doing it. Although I really love that uh, in Bar in I said Baldur's Gate, but I meant Athkettler. That uh, everything was already explored there, and the important uh, buildings and stuff were already marked on the map. That's pretty neat. What's that here? Ulmer Inn. I'm not looking, not looking for the inn actually, I'm looking for the cabin. I'm not going in there. This guy is supposed to have a cabin here somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Who would you be? Dar. Is that a cabin? I guess not. Hmm? Oh, greetings to you, stranger. Uh, who are you? My name is Dar, and I. I am no one of importance, I suppose. At least nobody important enough that my love's father might vaguely consider allowing me to curt her. No? Why not? My love is Colette and her father is a wizard of no small, small power and possessed of considerable bias against me. His name is Germian and I understand he intends to use Colette as a bargaining tool for some wizardly endeavor of his own against her will I imagine, although I have had no chance of to ask her opinion. I know she wants to go with me, I know it, but her father will have none of it. He intends to go to great lengths to keep us apart. Oh, woe is me. Hmm. Perhaps I could speak to him for you. It would be of no use, I'm sure. And I do not wish to use violence in such an endeavor. I do not appreciate its taste, and no doubt Jeremian would crush me with magic. You are kind to offer assistance, but there is no helping me, I think. Leave me to my sorrow, please. Oh, fuck it. Really? Now we have to, you know... Bring a happy couple together. Oh well. You need something stranger. Who disturbs me? I'm Havy Chablomi. Who are you? Havy Chablomi, eh? Well, I don't recognize your name. So as long as you are not sent by that fool Dar, I'll not object to your presence. You're a cowed wizard. Then why don't you do something about the killings around here? I don't do anything about it because I don't want to do anything about it. I have more important things to do, and until the coward wizards tell me otherwise, I do not involve myself. Hmm, can you tell me what you know about these killings, then? It's likely wolves or ogres or some other mundane nonsense. I have no interest in the matter. Why don't you ask some of the yokels if you're so concerned? Mm -hmm. What is this, the thing you're making? Ah, glad you asked. This, my friend, is nothing other than a golem of stone. A fine piece of magical craftsmanship, if I do say so myself. Few other mages have made the attempt, you see. The golem is quite powerful and dangerous, but I am more than skilled enough to control it. Once it is completed, I'll have an excellent servant and something to keep an eye on my daughter and that foolhardy bow of hers while I'm away. Trouble is, I'm missing one of the crucial ingredients, the blood of a mimic. I'd pay handsomely for some, in fact. Hmm, you look like the adventurous type. Care to find me some? Hmm, what's a mimic and where would I find one? A mimic is a vicious little creature, shapeshifter, shape changer, that likes to attract and kill adventurers by looking like a treasure chest or similar objects. They generally exist in dungeons, ruins and similar places, although where you would find one here I haven't a clue. That's why I'm looking for some. Hmm, I'm saving coin to rescue a friend. Would there be a reward? Would what would the reward be for this task. Hmm, I seem to recall that I've got a magical sword around here that I won in a bet from that fool Targaryen. <laughs> Targaryen, yeah, yes, I remember. I have a quest running here. I have no use for it, but it's valuable. F find me some mimic's blood and it's yours. Alright, I'll make the attempt. Fine, I wish I could point you in the right direction, but if you do find some, you know where to find me. Off you go then, boy. 
Well, how about we talk to your daughter? Let's see what she has to say about the whole affair with Done. the golem. Hello there. I love Dar, but father will have none of it. Now he's making this this thing to watch over me when he leaves. This is just terrible. Terrible, terrible. Hmm. Um. What would you say what if I started mean? looting? I am skilled. Nothing would you be dangerous, pissed? I would hope. The golem is not yet ready, but it's a stone golem. Is it that powerful? Don't really know. Yay, we can pick that stuff. And that's probably locked too. No, it's not locked. Yes. Very well. As you went. Oh, one gold coin. Oh, now he gets hostile. Okay. Let's not do this then. Where's my quick save? Here. I am ready. Let's I just pick the lock then. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. It shall be. I guess we will not take anything from him then. At least not now. Consider it done. I decided to check out the nevertheless when I'm in the area. I could also enter it, I thought. Stop. Who is here? Johanna, Ander, Trevor, Min Minning. You have strange names. Alan's Fielding. And Parent Deer. I will do my best. You'll find no better prices in arm. I guarantee it. I just know that one of these days, one of those ogres is going to come down and massacre me just like those other villagers. I, I never thought of something like this when I became a merchant. What do you know about these killings? Oh, it's a terrible thing, isn't it? People dying left and right, you can hardly find a customer anymore. And that's probably okay because nobody will restock me now, anyway. Somebody should do something about those ogres, though. They're ever since they came and all started, one of my caravans got attacked by ogres. They're evil and brutal. Can I see what you have in stock? Oh, I suppose so, but there isn't much. Caravans just won't come here unless they're stuck with guards. And that doesn't make it very profitable now, does it? Hmm, what do you have then? Nothing. That's not really much. Can I sell you some shit? Yeah. How about a few daggers plus one? Yay, 180 gold cube points. Gold pieces. That's not really much, but I don't care. Greetings, good customer. I'm ah, good day to you. to you, sir. It's nice to see a new face in the village for once. We haven't had many travelers through here since the, all these killings began, naturally. I'd be pleased to show you some of the goods I have to sell, although I must warn you, our mercantile company hasn't had much opportunity to deliver lately, so goods, goods are spare. What can you tell me about these killings? Oh no, that's a tale and a half. Mind you, I don't listen to the dribble these villagers might tell you. They'd have you will ha they have you half believing that five hundred year old witches on the prowl. You see, the real story is that there's a pack of wolves that's decided to come into the village area here and pick people off. You can't even travel much unless you got an armed guard. Makes for poor business it does. Our company thought it was a good thing when we won exclusive rights to Ibnes Vale from the council. Now it's just losing us money. Tch. Why doesn't everyone just leave? Well, some people still think the problem can be solved. I hear the mayor hired a band of adventurers to look into it, but they've disappeared. No one wants to travel alone, but if something isn't done soon, they might decide to all leave together. This is a shame. This is a prosperous village otherwise. Good business usually. Show me what you have then. Oh, I sold the decker plus one for 90 and it costs 336. Uh, getting ripped off here. Hmm. Oh well. She has more, but uh, nothing that I really need. Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. Yes, what is it that you want exactly? If you want to buy something, then say so quickly because I've got little enough time to spare for the likes of you. What do you know about what's going on in this village? Nothing, and I don't want to know nothing. 
All I want is to be able to get out of this stinking village safely once the roads are open. Merchant can't make a decent living here. Let me see what you have in stock then. Oh. Ale. The Tranian's Baylor Ale. Brewed with pimentos for that extra little kick. Hmm. Nothing that I need. Okay. What do you have, Treble? Be merry, friend. Ah, uh, no, I may be recognizing you. Should I be? Are you kin, mayhap, come to take me home? Mm, actually, I'd like to ask what you know about the killings around here. Eh, I know that the streets may be safe, may be a safe place for a poor drunk tenapper, and that's for sure. Vincenzo took me in, dear man that he be, so I nay be taken by the Ulmovich. I myself I nay be known if the Ulmovich is back. I see black shapes moving in the nights like living shadows, but then I be the town drunk and nobody listens to what I has to say. Truth be told, I'd be more than a little frightened to sleep outside these days. <laughs> but then this inn is where you'd find me likely as not so little has changed, I Okay. Who else? Ander. Bloke can't walk five feet these days without someone hitting him up. Me and Joanna have been trying the best we can. Fools on Dilbert is just going to get himself into trouble with no work to do though. What? We were what? Joanna? Didn't we have a Joanna somewhere? Where's Joanna? Is that Willard the stable boy? been some time since I've been this far south. I recall seeing Gorion here some years ago. He was a bit out of place away from his books, but... Hmm, seems I cannot help but speak of the dead lately. I did not wish to cause you any distress if I have. I do not remember Gorion with sadness, despite his end. That is good. He would not have wished his memory to cause pain. I like to think the same is true of Khalid. I think you are right. It is a shame when the dead take the living with them. Gorion said he carried he carried much of those that he di that had died. He wished I would not shoulder such a weight, but if I must, I sh if I must, it should be in a sturdy pack and not loose in my arms. So it would be behind you, but still with you, but would not obscure your vision. True, true enough, you are wise to see as such. Well, enough of this for now. Talk such as this can get maudlin if indulged too often. I have a good feeling from this though. Oh, Jahira. Okay, so I guess we'll take a break here and continue in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.